Hi, welcome to my channel, Sewing with Mary Rose. This video is going to show you how I attached my Janome hemming guide to my cover stitch machine. The instructions on the back are kind of confusing, so I did YouTube it and I had a really good outcome. So stick around to see how this turns out. And if you like videos like this, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. So here's the other one. Now, on the back of these instructions here, it says, um, turn off the power switch, attach the hemming guide to the machine, attach it through two thumb screws in the accessory set so that is what i showed you the little box that your machine came with tighten the two scr thumb screws firmly in b so here's that here are these two little thumb screws so we're going to attach these here and here Okay, next it says, trim the edge of the fabric straight, fold the fabric and finger press the fold, draw a line with Taylor's chalk on the right side of the fabric in line with the edge of the fabric shown, iron at the fold. So I'm going to do that part right now. So let, let me show you what this comes with. This comes with these two screws and in addition to these two twisting thumb screws, you will need to get a couple of additional ones out of your box that it came with. So let me pull those out. Here's one. So with this, I wanted to make it a little easier to do hems and I do want to start sewing more knits and I'm going to attempt to sew athletic wear in the future. So I have some um, pretty ambitious plans for the upcoming year. I'm going to cut off three inches off of this remnant of fabric that I have. So here is my piece of fabric. I'm going to fold it over, uh, mark it afterwards. I'm going to give this a one inch seam all the way across and iron it down. Perfect. And then it also says that you should use chalk to uh, go over that line because you're going to need that line as a guide. So I'm going to mark this one inch and then I'm also um, ironing it. So my fabric is pressed now and I'm going to bring it over here and get this started. So this is what I want to hem. So I'm going to set up my material now. I have this thumb screw loosened so I can move this over. What I want this edge to do is to go just slightly beyond my left needle. So I'm going to put this under here and I'm going to see where that ends up on the top like that. This is one inch away from the end. Right here, I'm going to line this up to where I want it to be. I want it to be right here, just slightly past my left needle. Now, when I get it to where I want it to be, I'm going to tighten this screw. And now I'm just going to see if that's exactly where I want it to be. And it's not quite right. You just have to move it over just a little bit more to make sure. Okay, and that's still a little more than I want it to be. So I'm going to put it right there.
Okay, that looks good. So now what you do is you're going to fold it over like this. And you're going to push this underneath. And then you also need to adjust this to make sure that it's where it needs to be. So this bottom edge of your hem needs to be firmly against this area here. So that it feeds in evenly. And that's where your ironing comes in handy so that you know it's lined up properly. Okay, so. And I'm going to get started. It's really easy. It keeps everything lined up and straight. I have my stitch length at a one right now. I'm going to change that to a two. And this is my first time using this. And it's looking really good. I'm really happy with it. Okay, so I'm gonna just check and peek in here and make sure that it's right up against this little fabric guide, feeding it in nice and straight. At the same time, this folded hem edge is nice and straight. And I'm gonna just keep on going. So here it is. That's when I had it at a one. Right now it's at a two. And I'm going to just adjust this a little and make sure that it's nice and straight as I'm feeding it in. And then one more thing, I'm going to check and see how it looks at a three on my stitch length. to pull these towards me. Mm. There you go. And I'm going to trim these off. And then you pull back into the left. And then I should have cut these off first, but that's how they see how you lock it in the back. And I'm going to just iron that. So here's what it looks like at the end. Looks good, I'm happy with that. And it's doing everything that I thought it would. So I just wanted to thank you for watching. And if you'd like to watch any more videos like this, please hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Bye.